Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time, we recruited Vincent! And this time, we're gonna do, like, more stuff here. I mean, while well, I say that, more stuff. One more thing, anyway. More of a thing than a stuff. Singular, you know. Uh, but f first, let's look at Vincent quickly. He is equipped with this thing, and not this thing. They deal the same damage, but we got this, like, way back in calm. It was a gun for Vincent. Um, also... I'm shocked because it's a double weapon with a connection. Which I thought didn't exist. This is probably the only double weapon in the whole game that has one of these. Uh, so you know I'm taking advantage of it to get double growth on my element material. Something else I would need to mention is that Vincent's Limit Breaks are, like Kate's C, are a little bit different than everyone else's. Vincent only has four uh, Limit Breaks, which is more than Kate's C, but less than everyone else. He has one per level, and four, whenever he uses a Limit Break, he transforms into a different monster. Um, which is actually pretty cool and can be pretty helpful, but also, at the same time, kind of dangerous because you lose control of him. Um, yeah, I was not joking when I said he had a gun. Uh, now, what was I saying? Um, however, because he only has four limit breaks, one on each, uh, one on each level, he only earns limit breaks by killing enemies. He doesn't get any benefit from... I mean, he still gets to do a cool thing, but... He doesn't learn new limits by using his limit breaks. Is what I'm saying. Maybe that thing is the thing I'm after. I mean, its name is clearly wrong, but... I've had no luck at all finding it. Oh, wait, you... Uh... This looks like a job for... E3. Uh, well, that... That sucks. Um... But going into what I was saying... Shit. Wait. Can summons not hit my... Own party? Like, do they only... Okay, summons always hit enemies. That is good to know. Right, now what was I saying? Something, something, freeze away. No. Um... Right. Uh, now the limb break thing. That has so is gonna have sort of two side effects on how I use limb Vincent. First of all, whenever he's in the party, I'm gonna prioritize him getting kills quite a lot. Uh, and second of all, he might end up being in the party a little bit less than everyone else, simply because he has fewer limit breaks. At least until I get to the end, then it'll be like, <laughs> I won't really care at that point. Once I have the first six or so, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, now having said that, let's find that stupid enemy I need. Okay. So. I just quickly double checked uh, the the name of the enemy that I'm looking for to make sure that it's not like wildly different, and it's not. So you know, I am indeed like just somehow getting terrible luck finding the stupid thing. I know it's here. I just haven't fought it. Face the power of a gun! I mean, there's just something a little bit amusing about that to me. Hmm. Maybe it's down- no, it's not downstairs. There's only bats and zombies downstairs. And I'm not fighting any more zombies if I can help it. Uh, 
No, that's another pendulum. Right, you know what? This is stupid. I'm gonna just cut to when I find the damn thing. Right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Really, it's still alive. Huh. Okay, I guess not right now. Wait for it. Seriously, though, that is just so stupid. <laughs> the pendulum falling off of its rope. Now. See you in a minute. Okay, so, I checked, and apparently the enemy I'm looking for can only be found in the side rooms and not the main hall. Uh, like? Not this. Damn it. Okay, but... While I was checking that, I also realized that I actually forgot to, um... Well, that's annoying. I forgot to talk about the summon that I got last time, Odin. Because Odin is a little bit special in Final Fantasy, you know. And you're silenced again. No, though. Odin, um... Like Togemog, Odin potentially has two... Count them, two different attacks. Which, in my experience, it almost always uses just uh, the one, which deals damage. But, which is actually pretty cool. You're definitely going to get to see that one. You know, when I actually have the MP to summon Odin. Uh, but the other one, what it does is... Um, are you silenced? No, you're just low on MP. But the other one... Is the Zen Panto? I I don't remember how it's said. I really should. I mean, I've been playing these games for how many freaking years? But no, I don't remember the damn name. In any case, his kill, his slice them in half, but with his sword attack, which we might not see, because well, first of all, he will never do that if the his target is immune to instant death. So if you use them against a boss, you will never see that attack, for example. Uh, but also, but even when the target's vulnerable to it, he's still, like, I think it's just random when it'll come up against a target that is not, okay, that's not what I'm after either. Damn it! Uh, right, against a target that's vulnerable to him. It, I'm pretty sure it's random whether or not he'll actually do his thing. Oh! Whoops. Okay, so the mirrors reflect. That's good to know. Although, weirdly, they're not immune to poison. Okay, uh, there. Like, that is weird, right? Like, maybe this is just me, but somehow I would expect a mirror to be, you know, at least resistant to poison? I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter. What does matter is that I killed the stupid pumpkin head so that I can fight the monster that I want to fight. I mean, come on. I should be done in here by now. Come on. Third time's the charm. Eh? Eh? Fuck. Right, I'm just gonna cut to when I find it. For real this time. See you then. Of course I find it in literally the very next battle. Okay, so the thing with these guys is... In order for them to use the enemy skill I want, which is that one right there, actually, I want them to... I want to not attack them until they've done it. They all, they need to do it to Vincent's skill. 
Um, I've been told that they won't do it when they've taken damage. I don't know for sure if that's true, but I do know that it's still wise because what they attack does is it's a minus strike. That is to say, it deals damage equal to the difference between your max HP and your current HP. So, whether or not they can actually um, use it after I've hurt them, they can certain it'll hurt me more. So, if you can- yes. Awesome. Okay, now I can kill you all. Starting with that one. Let's see. I'm thinking in Matra Magic. Okay. Ah, that works. Or not. What? Man, these things are so annoying! I mean, I can see what's happening, is when, when the thing changes, it becomes immune to either physical or magic. You know, depending. If you're immune to poison... Ah, uh, okay. You're not. I would have actually been upset. Okay, so that doesn't just change willy-nilly. It, it's not actually taking damage from the poison, though. Uh, do you even have any- will you have ice? Seriously, that is just- Come on! You should take damage from the freaking poison, otherwise what's the point? Whatever. We got the abilities, and that's what counts, so... Let's see. Uh, in, and then, to the mountain. Mount Nibble. But yeah, I really need to stay at the end. <laughs> okay, good. You, you'll still let me stay here, even though you decided you hated me because you're a lying liar who lies. Actually, to be honest, I'm not none too fond of you either. But, well, my options are rather limited. <laughs> Whatever the case, let's head into the mountains. Oh! I just remembered something, actually. I... I need to change something here. Uh... Let's see, who, who, who can I go with? I can go without Titan. You can have the enemy skill. Because I want Vincent to have Death Blow. The reason for this is for something I already elaborated on. Uh, Vincent's Limit Break when he uses it, turns him into a creature which you cannot control. Which is pretty cool, but sometimes undesirable. However, if he has his limit break, I cannot use the attack command! This is where death blow comes in. Sure, I won't hit every time when I use it, but it gives me a viable alternative to, you know, turning into an uncontrollable monster. Which is not always desirable. Use the power of Matra Magic, and then sh Okay. Having said- having just said that, I'm totally gonna show that off in the next fight. Uh, not this one, because I suspect that- Oh no, these are more HP than I thought. Sure, we'll do it now. Galleon Beast. Achievement get! Now, he has way more life, which I think it filled up, and it deals a lot of damage. But I have no control over him, which means I can't use magic, or heal, or really decide on anything. Uh, which is problematic for several reasons. <laughs> Most of them obvious. But also, worth mentioning, is all of his limit break forms, except for the level 4 one, are elemental? This one, I believe, is fire. Um, 
So if you use that against an enemy that absorbs the current his current element, you can get in a lot of trouble. Like a lot. Okay, so what does what's in this book? Rune blade. Isn't that a that's another double weapon? Yeah. No. I mean, sure, it hits harder. And it's more accurate, and it has an extra slot. Sounds good to me. Uh, I guess I'll just give you Titan. Or HP Plus. Actually, no, I'm gonna give you HP Plus. I need to get that thing leveled up so that it's actually useful when I pair it with Counter. Or... Counter? No, that's completely wrong. Cover! Counter Attack? I can't Counter Attack. I wish I could Counter Attack. Counter Attacks are awesome. And they Combines really well with cover, but I can't do it. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, I think I'm gonna get a material for counterattack pretty soon. I don't really think it's a spoiler to say so either. I mean, it's a it's a material using a staple ability, so. Yeah, I think I am going to get a counterattack material soon, but I don't remember for sure. Well, whatever the case, it's still worth certainly worthwhile to use the HP Plus right now. Down we go. And this looks familiar, doesn't it? Wait, is there something here? Oh, there totally is! What is up here? Well, there's something. If I can reach it. I mean, I'm sure I can reach it. Just... How? Back and around, and up, and up some more. I think I'm almost there. There we go. Pulse Barrette. I don't... What is... I mean, it's a weapon for sure, but... I mean, it wasn't that, because I just already had that one. That's what Vincent came with. Um... Pulse Spirit. Oh, okay, it's a thing for red. I wonder if it's not, not their double weep on. Hmm. I mean, that does that seems plausible. You do that, you do that. You wait for Cloud to do his thing, and then do this. Yeah, that works. Just don't... Just don't miss. Well, actually, targeting... That probably could have had better targeting. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Okay, so I need to go down here, then across the bridge, and I think there's a save point on the other side? I'm trying to remember where the save point was in this area. Um... It might be a little bit further. As far as I know, we cannot reach the reactor from the flashback, incidentally. I don't, I don't think that is reachable. Although... Oh yeah, I can to totally see it. <laughs> Although, having said that... I do seem to recall being able to reach the Materia Spring. Hmm. I guess we'll work it out when we come to it. For now, we must kill the birds. Because they do that. Which is not really... Not really the best for... Again, we're on a bridge with railroad tracks on it. I mean... It made more... It made sort of made sense in in Coral, because there was an actual railroad there, but there's totally no railway in Nibelheim. And it's still a damn rope bridge! Not only that, it's a rope bridge that goes nearly freaking vertical. I mean, come on, look at this. You're, te you're seriously telling me you expect someone to walk up there? I don't think so. 
Okay, this looks new. Uh... I really wish I had save scum. <laughs> I really wish I had a save state, actually, for this. Because I need to go down the correct pipe. And some- they go to different areas, right? One of these go, go to a materia, and one of them will drop me onto a boss. Okay, I knocked that one down. That'll help a lot, because now I can backtrack. Uh, what's out here? Oh, it's the- it's the reactor. So much for not being able to reach that. Right, use the- actually use Chocobo Mod. Because I feel like it. Charge! I love the Moogle falling off in the in the boom graphic. That little thing just makes my day. <laughs> Let's see. Heal myself. Uh. You know, maybe I will go down and fight the boss since I almost have a full up limit break. And being able to open up the fight just by using just by using climb hazard on the thing will definitely make it a lot easier. Hmm. Then again, I don't really mind saving it on cloud since I don't really want to do much physical attacking with him anyway. Definitely something to think about. Uh oh hey, all leveled up. Cool. In any case, I think I'm going to leave off here. Join me next time as we, we probably complete ex the exploration of Mount Nibble. Until then, this has been Kaz Blue. Let's play Final Fantasy VII and have a great day. Bye!